In this video, we're going to review some of the reactions of amines that we learned earlier this semester. The first involves aryl amines, where we used NaNO2 and HCl to convert them to diazonium ions. So in this case, we have the amine gets converted into a diazonium ion. And if we draw it out completely, we have N triple bond N, a positive on this nitrogen, and Cl minus is a counter ion. And we used that in diazonium ion displacement reactions where we coupled various groups onto the aromatic ring. The next reaction is reaction of an amine with an acid chloride or anhydride. Um, when we're doing this, we're using two equivalents of amine, and we can use primary or secondary amines in this reaction. And basically, the net result is you lose the H and the Cl, and the nitrogen bonds to the carbonyl carbon to give us an amide. So the product of this, we would have our carbonyl, so it has the phenyl on it, and then a bond to the nitrogen with the two methyl groups. So the product is an amide. In the mechanism, we learned that one equivalent of the nitrogen acted as a nucleophile, the second equivalent acted as a base. The third reaction is a DCC reaction between carboxylic acids and amines. In this case, we have a secondary cyclic amine, but it doesn't have to be cyclic. And we can also use primary amines or ammonia. And in the presence of a DCC, we're going to couple So here's my carbonyl, but now the nitrogen takes the place of the OH. And we get the amide as the product. The fourth reaction is reaction of an amine with an aldehyde or a ketone. Now in this reaction, I'm using a primary amine. And if you use a primary amine, you get an imine product. If you use a secondary amine, we get an enamine product. For the primary amines, the easiest way to predict the product is just think about the H2O being lost as water, and then the nitrogen takes the place of the oxygen. So we still have our double bond, the nitrogen, and the propyl group.